And this is the opening match of this episode of New Gym, where Gregory Helms defends his U.S. Championship against Deion Sanders. This match is going to get crazy. <laughs> I can only imagine. Helms has retained his championship in this last match that he had, and now he has to de defend his title against Dion. After Dion called him out last episode. Actually, Helms won the U.S. title last time we seen him. And Kratos, thanks to some help from freaking Sports Authority. And then freaking Dion called him out last episode. That's right. My bad. But either way, this will be Helms' first official title defense, if my memory is correct. Grinchy, feel free to correct me in the comments, because I know you're going to be watching this. And, honestly, the fact that freaking Helms is U.S. champion in this show, when he only thing he ever held it, like WWE was like freaking the cruiserweight title and I know he was like hardcore champion before and he's been tag team champions in the past but I don't really remember other than that figure what Helms has done in his career in wrestling because he really wasn't ever allowed to do a lot which was bullshit because I liked his gimmick that he had Smackdown vs. Raw 2008 that's the reason why he freaking you know he should have been pushed better, you know? But that just means, and I could, you could say that about a lot of people in real life. Think, either way. And here comes Helms' opponent. Who some people have called freaking a knockoff Batista, but you know. Freaking Dion apparently didn't care to be YouTube champion, even though that belt was literally freaking handed to him practically. But Dion wa apparently wanted more than the YouTube championship. And that's why he challenged for this title. So he wants to freaking be the U.S. champion, I guess. And I'm sure he probably wants to be the new general champion at some point in the future. Pfft. When? I don't know. But I guess right now he's content with the U.S. title. Pfft. And Dion is a tough son of a bitch. I know that much from what Xavier has told me about him. So... Helms, I wish you luck with this match, my butt, my guy. I really freaking do. Because Dion is not one to fuck around. I don't want somebody in the crowd to see Batista. Somebody was ch trying to start a Batista chant in the crowd. That's funny. There's the challenger, Dion Mother F and Sanders. And there's the current US champion of New Gen, Gregory Shane Helms. As he's known in real life. <laughs> or just Gregory Helms. Which one do you prefer? You can call him the Hurricane. <laughs> And honestly, I still think this U.S. title for New Gen is probably one of my better design belts, personally. And let's get this match underway to open up this show. And Dion already whipping Helms into the ropes. And Helms with a knee in the midsection. They just ran right into each other there. And Dion just beating the shiznits out of Helms already in a headlock. And whipping Helms into a power slam is, is Dion. Chop block by Dion there. Close line by Dion knocking Helms down. And Dion with an arm breaker into a DDT with Helms there. Helms punches him off. And they just ran out into each other again. Con Apple Tops. Sean's gonna be happy about that. Shout out to Sean McCarty and CIW. <laughs> arm boy by Dion. Shoulder tackle. And Helms reversed whatever Dion tried to go for there and slams him down. Misses the elbow drop there. Kicked in the section by Dion. Punch knocking him against the ropes. And Dion setting Helms against the middle rope there. And now just freaking choking him out with the middle rope with his knee on his back. 
punches, multiple punches to the face there by Dion in an armbar. And Helms managed to get out of it in the shoulder tackle by Gregory Helms. Go behind. Neck breaker by Helms. And Helms with a headlock. Headlock takeover by Helms. Another headlock by Helms. And Dion whooping Gregory Helms to the outside and just kicking him off the apron. <laughs> And Dion, you way majorly whiffed that freaking suplex, and Helms with a DDT to the floor. On the floor to Dion. And Dion has Helms against the barricade, just beating the shit out of him while he's against the barricade. Damn. Dion is not fucking around. And a neckbreaker by Gregory Helms to Dion on the floor. And Helms is just beating the shit out of Dion there. And Dion with an eye bar. And Dion was going to go for something, but they realized what was going on. Now the refs up to the count of six. And Dion is the worst time to be taunting. <laughs> and headlock. Or maybe it is the best time to be taunting. I don't know. Neckbreaker by Dion. And now Dion just punching the hell out of Gregory Helms. <laughs> and Dion was just a choke to us. Freaking Gregory Helms there. Spinebuster by Dion and Gregory Helms. And now Dion going for cover. One, two, and Gregory Helms kicks out. And now Dion going for the Dion bomb. And he nails it. And now Dion going for cover. One, two, and Gregory Helms kicks out of thinking after getting hit with a Dion bomb. And Helms blocks punch there and punches him in the face. And the uh, multiple punches there, knocking him against Wilkes. And Helms drops Dion in the top rope. <laughs> Kicked in the section by Dion. And now Dion going for a bear hug on Helms. There's no way Helms isn't going to tap out. He's too prideful for that. And Helms manages to if he can hold on and get and Dion just throws him away like a sack of potatoes. And whipping him in the corner. Close on knocking him down by Helms. And now Helms. If he can, STO. Uh, not STO. If he can, I don't forget what it's called. Five minutes carry cutter. I forget what he called that. I forget what Helms calls that, but I know that's his normal finisher. Go for covers, Helms. One, two, and Dion kicks out. And Helms whooping, making Dion in the ropes. Arm drag by Helms. Go for cover. One, only one count off the arm drag. And they just ran right into each other. And <laughs> Dion just punching Helms mid drop kick. <laughs> Crumpled. And now Dion going for another bear hug submission. And Gregory Helms taps out. And Dion via submission is the new New Gen US Champion. <laughs> Holy crap. I was not expecting that. Kind of. But Dion wins it. Yet another championship. And he f wins the US Championship via submission. When was the last time somebody won a title in this company with via submission? It's freaking crazy. Huge win by Dion there, winning an, another singles championship. And I just feel bad for Gregory Helms because freaking, you know, this is supposed to be his first title defense after he won it for Kratos. Next match is RVD taking on somebody. I don't know. He's hoping to get redemption for losing the Rorschach last month.
After losing the last episode, he was in freaking the Rorschach for people. And Ivory D is trying to get redemption, and that's why he want, wanted to have this match in this episode. And apparently, from what I've been told, he's taking on Luigi. We haven't seen Luigi since him and Mario lost to freaking Wario and Syndrome, aka Sin Wario. So, this match is gonna be freaking interesting. And hopefully, Luigi and Mario aren't still, you know, like, pissed off, because I know they were pissed off and they lost to Wario and Syndrome and everything. <laughs> but who knows? Mario was especially pissed off. Luigi was just me. Give him some lasagna and he was happy, because you know, Italian. <laughs> and apparently, from what I've been also been told, RVD is going to be a part of a six person battle royal. I bet it's going to be for the hardcore title at Cyber Slam. That pay per view that Paul Phoenix just mentioned. And I just wonder who the hell's going to be facing Megan Dion Richards in that Fatal 4 way. We don't know who it is yet, but it's. I know Dion but it was pissed when he was walking up the ramp. I know that for a fact. <laughs> and here comes one half of the Mario Bros. Frickin' Luigi. And you know freaking Luigi wants payback against Warrior and Syndrome. We're gonna have to wait and see if that will ever happen. <laughs> Let's get this one-on-one -on -one match on over. And Luigi with a go behind on RVD. Suplex by Luigi. And Luigi whipping RVD into the ropes. Weird neckbreaker there. And now Luigi just kicking RVD while he's down. That, that's disrespectful, bro. Weird backbreaker, neckbreaker. I don't know what the heck that was by Luigi that is. RVD. A drop kick to RVD sending him to the outside by Luigi. And RVD with a go behind on Luigi. Misses the punch there. Punch the back. Kick the red section as well. In another one. And RVD sending Luigi right into the steel steps. And RVD with an armbar and RV I mean Luigi with an armbar and RVD, sorry. And RVD whipping Luigi back in the ring. Now RVD's back in the ring. Kicked to the groin on the midsection. And just drags him back in the ring. Kicked the head of Luigi there by RVD. And now RVD whipping Luigi in the corner. Running shoulder tackle. Cannonball sent on into the corner as well by, to Luigi by RVD. Springboard freaking Van Daminated by freaking RVD. Jeez. And now just kicking him into the corner. Luigi tried to go for something in there, but RVD reversed it into another freaking shoulder tackle. Another cannonball sent on. And RVD with a go behind. Slams him down. Jumping leg drop, whatever the hell that was by RVD. In an armbar. Kick the arm and a shot to the arm by RVD as well. And they both just punch each other in the face there. And an armbar by Luigi. Arm breaker. Into a headlock by Luigi. And Luigi with a body slam to RVD. And RVD with a reversal to Luigi. Slams him down into, with a belly to back suplex. Standing moon, moon salt, <laughs> and another one by RVD. This is why he's one of the best wrestlers ever, because this dude is freaking crazy agile and headlocked by RVD, and just repeated kicks to the head of Luigi by RVD there, and just slams him down again. RVD going to the top rope, and not Luigi try to kick him there, and RVD with a freaking leaping Van Daminator. Off the freaking top up. Rolling Thunder by RVD. Go on, go by cover. One, two, uh, maybe not a Van Daminator, but he was freaking a uh, huge kick, flying kick from the top turnbuckle there by RVD before. Running drop kick to the face by RVD. Go for another cover. One, two, and Luigi kicks out again. Kicked in the section by Luigi. Oh god. 
And the Luigi trying to go for the walls of the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> And RVD manages to get the rope break. Four by Luigi. RVD. Oh jeez. And now Luigi's setting up for something. Close on the back of the head of RVD by Luigi. Luigi, now is not the time to be taunting. Arm drag by RVD. And the leg dropped again. Drop kick by Luigi. And another one, knocking RVD down, again. And another one, freaking, just repeated drop kicks. And headlock by Luigi. Suplex to RVD by Luigi there. And just more disrespectful kicks. And Luigi blocked a kick there, and a chop to the chest of RVD. And I think he missed the elbow drop there. Pfft. Good job, numbnuts. And, and kick to the back of, of RVD by Luigi there. Oh jeez, now Luigi try to go something, but RVD reversing with a face buster. And RVD going to the top rope. And Luigi cutting him off with a chop. And now R Luigi hacking right off from the top turn back with the RVD. <laughs> now Luigi going for a submission on RVD. No way, RVD's tapping out, and the RVD managed to get out of it, thankfully. The headlock by RVD. Suplex by RVD. Into a pin. One. Only one count. Pfft. An envoy by RVD. And whips him in the corner. Punch to the back, knocking him down. Now RVD was springboard. What the fuck was that? RVD. <laughs> now going for a cover off the springboard. One, two, and Luigi kicks out. And a headlock by RVD. Freaking rip kick. That heel kick by RVD there. <laughs> and Luigi kicks him off. Monkey foot. Or whatever that is. That RVD likes to do sometimes. And Luigi's shoving him off again. And Luigi block a punch there. Code breaker by Luigi. A dragon swim there. Dragon swim moves. One, two, and RVD kicks out. You know Luigi's getting pissed because he's been hitting R RVD with just about everything he can. Figuring RVD keeps kicking out or getting out of submissions. Pfft. Neck breaker by RVD. RVD whipping Luigi in the corner. Oh god. Punch the face by RVD. No, RVD has Luigi up. Oh Jesus. We haven't seen this in a while. Superplex on the outside from the top. Tambuckle by RVD to Luigi. Well, if you're gonna go big, you have may as well go for broke. Even if it fucks up your spine in the end. Uh, Rob, you good? There you go. And Luigi is possibly out after that suplex. That's up to a count of four. Now five. And Luigi's back up, and now he's back in the ring. And headlock by Luigi. Headlock takeover. And now Luigi was springboard, but he missed. Now RVD's back up. And now RVD was springboard, which he didn't miss. He whips Luigi in the corner. Good job. Rob, you missed a kick there. Now RVD getting whipped in the corner. Backflip. And I misses the clothesline as Luigi. Clothesline by RVD. And now RVD with another rolling thunder. Go for cover. One, two, and I forget he gets the win off the World of Thunder. Thank Christ. He's at least RVD is not the Zack Ryder of this company. Pfft, thank God. But RVD was scoring a win and has momentum going into that hardcore title battle royal. Pfft, thankfully. And honestly, 
I don't know who the hell else is going to be in that battle royal, but freaking. RVD is definitely one of my picks to win. Hopefully. <laughs> Next match is Rainbow Dash. Apparently, it's going to be facing somebody. I don't know who yet, but freaking. I just know RVD is pissed and she's wants some payback against the Birds of Prey, as they're calling themselves. In the case of Canary and Harley and Ivy's group. And this is a singles match where ID is apparently supposed to be facing somebody, but apparently from what I've been told, she, she doesn't want to have a match, she just wants to face, she is asking for some time to do, I don't know. All I know is that ID is supposed to be facing somebody, but she is royally pissed off still. <laughs> um, I did not blame her after what Black Canary and them did to her, to her last time we've seen her. I just feel bad for whoever it is she's supposed to be facing. Apparently she's calling for a microphone though, freaking. She doesn't want to have a match. Now. Well, this night just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Like Manson ran into Satan earlier in the show, if he can convince them to let him accompany him to the freaking ring. Because apparently, supposedly, Nikolai Carpathia and Damien Thorne intend on stabbing Satan in the back. And freaking Manson was able to convince Satan to trust him enough to let him accompany him to the ring and everything and help him out in case if anything does happen. Meanwhile, this is Satan's last match in freaking new gen for the time being. As he's apparently yeah, moved up to the main roster. And apparently from what I've been told, Satan chose the guy that he faced off in the one of the first videos of it was ever posted on the channel, freaking that involved him when it comes to this show. Satan showed one of the face Kurt Angle. And if I remember correctly, that when they faced each other in that match, Satan actually came out with a win. And Satan has only ever lost like once, I think. And it was the freaking Luigi. Yeah, it was to Luigi. He's never lost a singles match, but it was his only loss came to this Luigi, Wario, and Punchinello. And we have not seen Punchinello in a while. It's just gonna be fun, ironic. Freaking the Satan is facing the guy that where they started this whole freaking show, and his last match on this show. Pfft. It's just gonna be weird. At the same time, you know, Pfft. you know, Kurt Angle want well, redemption for losing that match, and one it would suck for Kurt for Satan for Kurt Angle be the guy that ended his undefeated winning streak. When it comes to singles matches, as far as I know, because 
Like I said, I can't remember if he's ever lost a singles match. So this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> and here comes the Olympic gold medalist himself. Kurt Mother Freaking Angle. One of the best wrestlers ever have done it. And you can't hear it, but the crowd is up crowd is already chanting, you suck at him. Because <laughs> you know, Kurt Angle and entrance, everything. <laughs> I haven't seen Kurt Angle in forever. And like I said, it would be freaking crazy if he actually managed to beat freaking Satan in this match. Because Satan has never lost a one-on-one -on -one match before, as far as I know. And, and or can remember. And like I said, it's been forever since the last time Kurt had a match. It would be nice for Kurt to finally get a win. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's gotten a win before, but I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> This would be nice for him to get redemption against a guy that beat him in the first ever video for this freaking show. <laughs> and let's get this match underway. And Kurt immediately on the offensive and Satan blocks that punch in headlock. On board of the face. And Kurt dumping Satan out to the floor of right here in front of me. And now Satan is just running around the ringside area. Now Kurt's on the outside. And now both of them are out there, and Kurt's back in the ring. He realized where his opponent, and if he can say, just dodge whatever Kurt was trying to go for there. What the freaking Manson, get the fuck out of the ring! Suplex by freaking Satan. Just craziness all around. An arm bar by Satan, and another one, and an arm drag, and a leg drop to the arm of Kurt Angle by Satan. And his repeated punches there. And punches the Kurt Angle in the face. Kick the protection of Satan while he's against the ropes. Chop to the chest. Headlock by Kurt. Face buster. Close on STO freaking by Satan there, Kurt Angle. And his repeated shot to the back, and Kurt with an elbow to the face. Close on by Kurt knocking him down. Kick the midsection as well. Go behind. And Kurt getting whooped in the corner. Close on by Satan to Kurt Angle. Now Satan whooping Kurt Angle and well just clubbing shot to the back of Kurt Angle by Satan there. Pfft. And go behind by Satan and a disrespectful slap to the back of the head. And Kurt with a headlock into a go behind. And Satan reverses it. Into a belly to back suplex. And a leg drop by Satan with Kurt Angle. Just repeated uppercuts and a punch in the face there, and Kurt blocking the kick, punches him, knocking him down, and an elbow drop, which I think he missed. There's more punches there by Satan, and Kurt blocks that one in the armbar. And Kurt whipping Satan in the corner. I don't know what that was, but. And Kurt with a clothesline to Satan there, knocking him down. And Satan just runs right into him. And Kurt did the same thing. <laughs> DDT by Satan. Now Satan picking him back up. Oh god, now Satan is trying to make t Kurt tap out. By choking him out with a mandible claw. And as figured, Kurt as I managed to hold on and lasted through the mandible claw. And Satan whipping Kurt into a freaking sidewalk slam. And Kurt shoving him off. And now Satan with an arm bar. And lifting him up and slams him down on his knee. And now Satan just stomping on his arm. Kurt just punches him off. A headlock by Kurt. Elbow to the face. And now Kurt just beating the shit out of Satan there. And now Satan with a pair of elbows to the face of Kurt when he tried to go for something. Oh god, now Satan. Going for the Satan's Fury Power! Now drag some ropes. Go for cover. One. 
Dude. Insane gets the pin over Kurt Angle. Continuing his winning streak. And sends his freaking time in New Gen off with a bat win. Why am I not surprised? Freaking insane with a win over Kurt Angle once again. And it remains, as far as I know, undefeated. And Manson's in the ring now freaking with Satan. Freaking unsurprisingly. And surprisingly, Hell's Inc. never came out. The next match is Roadhouse Soldiers taking on the Hales. And if Shaw and Oz. Austin Hale can win, they'll get a tag team title rematch. <laughs> and Manson and Satan are still celebrating in the ring. What the hell? Manson just closed on Satan and now he's just putting the boots on What the fuck, man? Oh, jeez, and there's freaking Hell Zink. Now they finally decided to show up. And now they're just putting the boots to freaking Satan. A dude who I honestly thought these guys were freaking loyal to. Like, seriously? Is this Manson's whole plan all along? And now you're just wailing on Satan with a chair. What the fuck, you freaking backstabbing asshole? And this is a tag team match between the Roadhouse Soldiers and the Hales. And if the Hales manage to win this match, then they will get another shot at the tag team titles at Cyber Slam. Which is the next, which is the next paper for you freaking for And well, it's actually the first paper for you for new gen, but it's freaking, you know, the next show that's going to be happening next month. And I cannot wait for that. That pay per view is going to be freaking epic. And, the, and, and um, the main event for that pay per view will be Sephiroth taking on Doomfist for the world title. Well, Doomfist taking on Sephiroth, but you get the idea. <laughs> and, lo and lo all the other new gem titles will be on the line. And how the other things will happen on that show, too. Just one of those wait and see kind of things. I just know that that show's going to be freaking. Epic. And the Hales, who are making their way out here, are hoping that they'll be on that show challenging for the tag team titles. And there's the Hales. Austin and Shaw. These two are one of the, pop probably the most popular tag teams in the company. And they're hoping to get another shot at the tag team titles, but they just have to win this match first. But the Roadhouse Soldiers are no slouches, I can tell you that much. And if the Hales don't win this match, then I guess some some random tag team will take on the Hales. I mean, not the Hales, the freaking Roadhouse Soldiers. I don't know who, but freaking somebody will. Okay, you know, first pay per view for New Gen, that's obviously all hands on deck. Never get tired of seeing that entrance.
Right, let's get this match underway. And Tommy will immediately with a headlock and take in a takeover and elbow to the back of the head. And not just bringing down punches on Austin. Now Tommy's on the offensive still, and Austin just knocking him down with that punch. Russian leg by Tommy. And Austin just dumping Tommy to the outside. <laughs> now Tommy's on the apron, and now he's back in the ring. And the headlock by Austin flips him over. And now Tommy whipping Austin to the outside. This is punch to the chest there. And Austin's back in on the apron. Now he's back in the ring. But Tommy just watched and bulldog by Tommy. And Tommy whips Austin and freaking to the other side of the ring and AT just pulls it on the rope so that Austin just goes right out to the outside to the floor. And Austin just beating the shit out of ATG. <laughs> and now Tommy and ATG ganging up on Austin, now whipping him back in the ring. <laughs> Austin taking out ATG there, even though he wasn't even a legal man. And ATG with a belly bag suplex to Tommy. And Austin whipping Tommy in the corner and tags in Shaw. Drop pill hold and magnation elbow. Pfft, take a shot. Whatever it is you're drinking and or eating. And Shaw slamming him down. And now just putting the boots to him. Pfft. Now Tommy tags in ATG, the big boy. And now Shaw. Freaking, well, I forget what that's called. Sunset flip, that's what it was. Freaking Shaw with a sunset flip from the middle turnbuckle. I had to think about it for a second. Neckbreaker by ATG. And ATG just pummeling Shaw there. If it can get any fact out the size difference between the two of them. And ATG with a neckbreaker. Shaw so shoves him off. Whoops him in the corner. Shaw with a neck breaker to ATG. Or JTG, one of the two, I forget what it's called. And now Tags and Tommy, now the small guys are both in the ring. And Tommy with a suplex to Shaw there. <laughs> I'm just beating the shit out of Shaw some more. In the headlock. And Tommy whoops Shaw into the ropes. Watch out, ref. And Shaw with a freaking neck breaker to Tommy. The Hales really want to win this match because they really want that tag team title shot. And a forearm to the face by Shaw. And Tommy punches him off. And Shaw reverses Tommy's attempted clothesline with a flapjack. And Austin is hyped in the corner. And now Shaw picking Tommy back up. And another deck breaker to Tommy by Shaw. And Tommy trips him up. And another deck breaker by Shaw to Tommy. And a leg drop. And now Tommy trying to go for his comeback. But Shaw has him in the headlock. Whoops him in the ropes. Bulldog by Tommy. And Shaw subs him away. And now he tags in his brother. And Tommy wisely runs across the ring and tags in ATG. And ATG just punching Austin there a couple times. And a super kick by ATG. And Austin just no sells the super kick. <laughs> Whoops him in the corner. That's ATG. Whoops him in the corner again. Now he tags in Tommy. Whoops him off ropes. Freaking spear clothesline co fin combo freaking by ATG and Tommy. Cover covers Tommy. One, two.
two and Shaw breaks it up. And now chaos is happening in the ring. Shaw whooping Tommy in the corner and ATG whipped Austin in the other corner. Pfft. Austin, he's not the legal man, my guy. You have to focus if you want to win this match. DDT by Austin. And he tag tags in his brother Shaw. And Shaw slams him down. Flipping neck breaker by Shaw there. And now Shaw going for a single leg Boston Crab on Tommy. Trying to make him tap out. And ATG inadvertently hit the ref for also breaking up that submission. Pfft. And Shaw whooping Tommy in the corner. Kicked in the section. And Shaw with another Northern Lights. I mean, not Northern Lights. But a freaking a Sunset Flip. Two. And the only one count after Sunset Flip. And now Shaw beating the crap out of Tommy. He blocks a drop kick in the axe handle. And Tommy tags in ATG. And ATG blocked the punch there. And headlock. Elbow to the face. ATG with a backbreaker to Shaw. And an elbow drop. And Tommy is hyped in the corner. <laughs> Another elbow drop by ATG. Oh, jeez. And now Tommy with a freaking slam there. Shaw. I mean, not Tommy. ATG, sorry. And headlock by ATG. How about the face again of Shaw? Misc missing the discus clothesline and Shaw like getting nothing with that forearm. And a drop kick. Bacha Mania. And another drop kick by Shaw. And they kick the midsection as well. And ATG gets out of whatever Shaw tried to go for there. And a punch knocking him down. Khan it will tie up. Shaw McCarty is going to be happy somewhere. Go behind by ATG. And around by. Shot to the arm of Shaw by ATG. DDT. Another elbow drop. And now Shaw's back up. Close on knocking the big man down. And another one. Missing the heel kick. This Shaw pff, fucked up his own freaking comeback. And another shot to the arm by freaking ATG to Shaw. And Shaw whipping ATG to the outside. Drop kicked off the apron by Shaw to ATG. Now Shaw, ATG whipping Shaw in the barricade. DDT on the floor. And now Austin saving his brother from ATG. Tried to whip him in the staircase, but and ATG whip, tried to whip Austin in the staircase. And Shaw with a neck breaker to ATG. Just keeps trying to whip him in the staircase, you know that they're at a weird angle. And ATG just tripping on the staircase. Wraps up to a count of seven, but Austin beating the shit out of ATG. Whips him back in the ring. And uh, Shaw tags in Austin. A drop toe hold by Austin to the ATG. And I rose him over, going for cover. One, only one count. Pfft. Repeated punches there by Austin. Chin breaker by Austin, ATG. And I'm just slamming him against the ring. No, ATG's back up. Go behind by Shaw. I mean, Austin, sorry. And now ATG just raining down punches on Austin. And now Austin blocked the punch there in headlock. Missing the clothesline. And Shaw wants a hot tag. And Austin tags in his brother. And he fucked it up immediately, unsurprisingly. <laughs> Now Tommy's back in, and go behind by Tommy, and a slap to the back of the head. And ATG is getting a sucker punch in, dazing Shaw. And now Tommy, with a pile driver to Shaw. And Shaw just no-sells and just punches him off. A lot of no-selling going on in this match, and a forearm. 
and Shaw tags in Austin. And Austin blocked the punch there. Flips him over. And now go for submission. Make him tap. Make him humble. I didn't even get to say it. Ask him. His <laughs> ATG broke it up. And Austin with an arm bar on Tommy. <laughs> arm drag much. And Austin with a springboard. Which he actually nailed surprisingly. Weird seeing a big guy doing springboards. But one. Two. And ATG breaks it up. Go behind by Austin. And Austin whipping Tommy into the corner. Oh, God. Now Austin setting Tommy on the top turnbuckle. Punch the face. And Austin was superplex to Tommy from the top turnbuckle. And Austin with just an elbow to the top of Tommy's head, which somehow he's always wearing his hat. Go for cover. One, two, and ATG breaks it up again. Or Tommy kicked out one of the. And Tommy blocked the kick there. Misses the clothesline. And kicked the kidney, I guess. Russian next week. Kicked the leg of Tommy by Austin there. Freaking what the hell was that, Austin? And I'll go for cover off that kick. One. Two. And ATG manages to break up the pin. Bulldog by Tommy. And a little drop to the back. And ATG and Shaw just beating the shit out of each other. Look, freaking Rough Rider by Shaw on the outside. And now Austin trying to make Tommy tap out again. And Tommy tapped out before ATG could break it up. And the Hales have won themselves an opportunity to tag team titles at CyberSlam. <laughs> Holy shiznit. This match was just freaking crazy. And it said the Hales have managed to get a submission win over the current tag champions. And they just and they got themselves an opportunity to tag team titles again. Freaking happy as heck for the guys. The next match is Eli Manning taking on Warshack because apparently Warshack is feeling confident. Thinking, thinks he can continue his momentum from last month after he beat Rob Van Dam. And this is a one-on-one -on -one match that Rorschach asked for and he because he made a challenge that apparent to anybody in the back to face him, from what I've been told, that he beat Rob Van Dam last month. And apparently Eli Manning accepted because Eli apparently wanted to try and start winning some singles matches. And of course, unsurprisingly, Eli is accompanied by his sports authority teammate LeBron James. Now this is going to be interesting because this is Eli's first singles match in years. Since his time of magnation, I believe. So this is going to be interesting to see how Manning does in a singles match for the first time in forever. And hopefully he'll start his first singles crew off of the win. At least hopefully for him. But who knows? It's Roy Shack. He's been he's been on a bit of a roll lately since he beat RVD, and he and it still surprises me that he managed to just pull that off. But, and speaking of Roy Shack, here comes the. Dude, freaking named after an actual test that pe people have had done before. You know, the Rorschach test. And he's also a character from The Watchmen. If we ever read those comics and watch that movie. Movie was alright. Never seen the comics though. And I know Rorschach was like a mid car guy, lower car guy in Magnation. I know that much too. Pfft. I don't know what, I can't remember what his career was like in the Magnation. I just know that like M. Bison's like. One win at one time was freaking just because he beat Rorschach once. I don't know, freaking either way. Manning's, like I said before, is hoping to get his first win in singles competition, and Rorschach is hoping to continue his momentum. And this match is going to be freaking interesting, especially with LeBron at ringside. Definitely going to be curious to see what happens in this match. I believe Rorschach is actually in the match at the Cyberslam pay-per-view. 
So he would like to go into that match with momentum. Honestly, I don't know who to pick between these two guys. I like both of them personally. If I had to choose between them, I don't know. And let's get this one-on-one -on -one match underway. And Eli immediately will punch the face in the headlock with Rorschach in a suplex. And Manning just beating the shit out of Rorschach for a second. But Rorschach has been headlocked and whoops in the corner. Psh. Boot the midsection. Now Rorschach. Sunset flip into freaking power bomb by Eli Manning. Drop kick by Rorschach. And Rorschach went on by Manning. Back break at Eli. <laughs> and just putting the boots on his Rorschach. Eli blocking the kick there. Close on by Eli. And an elbow drop, which barely got him. <laughs> drop kick by Rorschach. And just putting the boots to him some more. He sits on his leg. Pfft, Rorschach, you botched there. You missed a drop kick, man. Pfft. And now Eli with a go behind and a shot to the back of the head. And Rorschach with just more punches. And he actually nails that drop kick. Good job. Recovery there, Rorschach. Whoops in the corner. And now Rorschach setting him in the corner. He's setting up for that running boot to the face into a helmet in the corner that he likes to do. And just punching the back of a helmet and slamming him face first in the ring. And uh, Rorschach, what are you doing? Oh god, of course, because we can't go one fucking show without this happening. Rorschach tearing apart my damn announce table because he, of course. And Manny tried to go for something there, but Rorschach got out of it with a pair of elbows. And now Rorschach whipping Eli Manning in the, my nuts table and setting him on the table. Oh, God. Rorschach, this is not necessary, dude. And Rorschach with an elbow drop through, to Eli Manning through my nuts table. Freaking thanks a lot, dude. Freaking, really, Rorschach? Freaking, Christ. You're paying for a new nuts table, freaking jack off. And now Rorschach whipping Manning back in the ring. <laughs> And now they're both back the ring there. And Rorschach with a go behind. Ration the trick for Eli Manning. And now drags him away from the ropes. Now Manning is back up. Arm by by Rorschach and a needed midsection by Eli. Rorschach test by Rorschach. And Manning ran right into it too. And now Rorschach off a cover of the Rorschach test. One. And LeBron is distracting the referee. Rorschach probably would have had the match won if it wasn't for LeBron James. Headlock by Rorschach. <laughs> now Rorschach with submission on Eli Manning. While LeBron is still distracting the referee. And Manning managed to get out of it. What the frick was that? And Manning with a neck breaker to freaking Rorschach. Go for cover. One. Two, and Rorschach kicks out. Pu repeated punches in the face there. Another one knocking down by Manny. There's more punches by Eli in the headlock. And Rorschach trips him up. And an elbow drop. And now Rorschach trying to go for a pain and hits his feet on the ropes. Two, and freaking Eli Manning kicks out. And LeBron is back on the apron. And now Manning going for a freaking... Full Nelson submission, but the ref is too distracted by LeBron, and LeBron's been kicked out of the ringside area. Thank Christ. And Rorschach telling Manning to bring it. And Rorschach, whatever the hell that was, or whatever he calls it. And now Rorschach going for a pin. One, two, and Rorschach gets the pin. Manning almost made Rorschach tap out, but freaking LeBron kind of cost him there for that freaking distraction to the ref. Great job, LeBron. Now Ma Manning has a loss on his record, thanks to you, kind of. And Rorschach continues his roll of momentum, surprisingly. And I know Manning's going to be pissed at LeBron when he wakes up, that's for sure. <laughs> 
And the next match is our current main event where Carnage defends his hardcore title against Noob Cybot. And apparently from what I've been told, there's some shit going on in the back, freaking involving Valerie and I think Serena, freaking. So I'm gonna get a camera on that stat. I finally got a camera on these two freaking, or these two are brawling in the back, and Zarina just sending Valerie right into that roadie cake boxes, whatever the heck those are called, and just slamming Valerie back first into that thing. And now suplex to Valerie by Zarina. And now picking her back up. And Valerie's just dazed from what Zarina did to her there, and then there's a punch of face there, and Z Valerie black and everything tried to go for that, and just roundhouse kicked Zarina, and sent her right into that freaking window. Oh god. Now Valerie slamming Zarina back first into head first in that window, so and Zarina with a knee the midsection of Valerie. And Valerie just beating the shit out of Zarina and just sending her right into that door. And Zarina reversing whatever Valerie tried to go there and kick to the midsection. A knee to the face of Va Valerie by Zarina then. Uppercut by Zarina to Valerie. And Zarina just slamming that door right into Valerie's face. And sends her flying across the hallway. And as we're gonna picking Valerie back up, just looking at her while she's dazed. And now Valerie grabbing Zarina and just sending her across the hallway. Because Zarina just stood there looking at her like weird, weirdly. And now Valerie just punching her a couple times and sends her across the hallway right into that doorway. And now Valerie with a payback with slamming the door into Zarina's face too. And now Serena just sending Valerie across the hallway again. And Z Valerie just knocking Serena down with that punch. And Serena with a neck break at a Valerie. And Serena, the freaking falcon arrow to Valerie on the concrete floor. Oh jeez. And now Zarina trying to go for something there, but Valerie reversed it into a DDT. And Valerie with a freaking sister Abigail to Zarina. And freaking Valerie apparently knocked out Zarina with that sister Abigail. And message sent by Valerie to Zarina going to that match at the pay per view. Well, after that freaking backstage brawl between Valerie and Zarina, and then freaking the whole t promo between t with Talon and Sephiroth, which apparently Sephiroth's taking on freaking Lex Luthor and Venom in a handicap match in the main event tonight. After this match, Carnage is defending his hardcore title in traditional Extreme Rules match against Noob Saibahai. <laughs> oh, this show has been freaking crazy as all hell. <laughs> It's just been crazy, and just been just one cr just great thing after another tonight. And now we got this freaking maniac defending a hardcore title. <laughs> and you know, Carnage, if he didn't have this match, he would probably be in that match with Luthor and Venom against Sephiroth. But unfortunately, he freaking has to defend that title. In fact, he's the only one in that t group right now when it comes to talent has a title. 
And I still cannot get over the fact that Noob Cybot turned on Reptile freaking a while back. That fucking still pisses me off in this day. And now Noob is challenging for a hardcore title. I don't know, I guess freaking. Since the title has to be defended at some point, Carnage, I guess, decided to accept this challenge from Noob Cybot. Because I guess, he, from what I've been told, he challenged Carnage for this title on the back at some point. Pfft. Anyway, and here comes the backstabbing trick piece of crap freaking noob cyber it was like a multi-time XC's champion in CIW shout out to Sean McCarty and he was tagged the opponents with reptile for a while but freaking you know how that turned out Pfft. screw this asshole noob cyber and freaking now he thinks he can break out and be a singles guy Pfft. Normally I wouldn't root for anybody in Talon, but Carnage, please beat this asshole. I would really appreciate it. I really don't want to see this douche with a freaking hardcore title. That would be freaking epic. You would do that for me, Carnage. Also, freaking... Doing all the madness with the backstage brawl in that Talon promo. Freaking the Roadhouse Soldiers actually came out and fixed my announce table. Which I appreciated. And let's get this hardcore title freaking match underway and immediately a drop kick to the legs by Noob Cybot to Carnage. Go behind by Noob. Suplex. And another freaking drop kick to the leg of Carnage by Noob Cybot. Well, it's one way to get him disoriented, just take his balance off from underneath him. And Noob whipping Carnage into the corner. And whips him in the opposite side. Punch in the face. Put into the face again. And now Noob with just repeated body shots at Carnage. And now Noob Saiba whipping Carnage into the ropes. And Carnage with a German suplex to Noob after dodging the clothesline attempt. And Noob flips over Carnage. And the headlock by Noob Saiba flips him over again. An elbow drop to the back of the head. And it misses the knee drop there. And Karin into another German suplex to the noob cybot. Whips into the corner. And misses the close on just Carnage and blocks the kick there. And dragon screw by Carnage and Noob Cybot. And headlock by Carnage. And neck breaker to noob cybot. And knee drop there. And Carnage whipping Noob into a power slam. What body slam wanna do? And just another punch in the face of Noob side out by Carnage there. Shoulder tackle to Carnage by Noob. And Carnage whipping Noob side out in the corner. Shoulder tackle. And Carnage with a clothesline to Noob side out. Whoops him into the ropes. Another freaking body slam there by Carnage to Noob Cybot. And cut and Noob blocking the punch there. And a neck breaker to Carnage by Noob Cybot. Suplex by Noob to Carnage. And just repeated body shots there by Noob and a kick to the midsection, Daisy and Carnage. Oh god. A noob with a suplex. Into a freaking slam there. And now Noob going for the first weapon of the match. Oh, Lord. He's pulling out a trash can, apparently. And Carnage knocked the trash can out of Noob's hands. And I think that trash can facing the floor. What the fuck? Body slam by Carnage. I think that trash can is literally phased into the floor. <laughs> and Carnage whipping Noob in my nods table, which I... Please don't break it again, guys. We can road how soldiers fix there. And Carnage with another body slam. And a knee drop again by Carnage. And punch the face and win the body, body and a chop to the chest. And Noob flips him over. Oh god. And Noob 
with a freaking double underhook slam there. And Carnage on the floor. And just a punch the face of Carnage by Noob. And Carnage German suplex is Noob side bot on the floor. I said bot. I meant bot. Sorry. And now Carnage will be Noob side bot back in the ring. Elbow to the face of Noob side bot by Carnage. Drop toe hold by Noob to Carnage there. Misses the knee drop. Oh god. And Cybot with a Cybot driver to freaking Carnage. Double cover. One. Two. And Carnage kicks out. An arm bar by Noob Cybot. And a shot to the arm of Carnage. And multiple body shots there. And a punch at the midsection. And Noob Cybot whipping Carnage in the corner. And now Noob with just more body shots to Carnage. And Edward's scraping his boot against Carnage's face. Which is just going to piss him off. Gun for cover. One. Two. And Carnage kicks out. Again. There's more punches by Noob. And Carnage blocks his kick there. And Carnage. Going for the. Let there be Carnage DDT. Gun for cover is Carnage. One. Two. And Noob kicks out. Somehow. somehow. And Noob blocks the punch there. Another neck picker by Noob. The Carnage. Go for cover off the neck picker. One. Two. And Carnage kicks out again. And Carnage blocking that punch. In the headlock. Uppercut by Carnage. Armbar. And Noob getting out of it. Whips him in the corner. Four on the face. And now picking Carnage back up. And now Noob with another one of those slams. And now Gunfuck covers Noob. One, two, and Noob Cybot wins the hardcore title from Carnage. <laughs> I did not see that coming. But, but Noob wins a championship in the first attempt and taking dethrones Carnage, winning the hardcore title. Sucks for Talon, but Noob freaking, I guess, proving everybody right about how freaking he could be, he was better off without Reptile. And now freaking Noob can add the freaking hardcore title to his resume. <laughs> Just freaking great. In the main event, it's the next match, which is Sephiroth taking on Venom and freaking Lex Luthor. And Venom is probably pissed off at Noob Saibot right now. <laughs> I just hope no noob is aware that he's gonna to have to defend that title in a battle royal at Cyber Slam. And this is the main event of this show with a world champion of New Gen Sephiroth it's taking on Lex Luthor and Venom of Talon in a two on one handicap match. And if anybody has a problem with me mentioning the word handicap, they're going to deal with it. <laughs> Either way. Seth Roth is defending his title against Doomfist at Cyber Slam. But first he has to take on Doomfist's goons because, of course, because Doomfist is too much of a bitch to freaking take Seth Roth on one-on-one -on -one action right now. He wants Seth Roth to be softened up for that match. So he has his go having his goons freaking take on Seth Roth. And Sephiroth is just so freaking done with Doomfist shit. He was like, fine, whatever I have to do to get you in the ring, freaking asshole. Well, this match is going to be interesting, because you know, I'm sure Doomfist and his goons are probably talking about freaking doing something that freaking probably hurt Sephiroth or something. But who the hell knows? Freaking telling assholes, and I'm glad Sephiroth left the, that group gaggle of freaking jerks. I would record Sephiroth's entire entrance, but my phone's about to die, so I need to get this match moving. <laughs> and here comes Venom and Sephiroth. I mean, not Ven Sephiroth, freaking Venom and Lex Luthor. <laughs> Normally, Venom would be teaming up with Carnage, but since Carnage just literally had a freaking tag, I mean, hardcore title match that he lost and Noob Saibot in, yeah, I don't think he's going to be wrestling for the rest of the night. 
So Doomfist is trusting these two guys to get, beat the shit out of like, and Sephiroth and soften them up with the match next month at Cyber Slam. Though I wish these guys luck with that because Sephiroth is a tough son of a bitch. And he's damn near unkillable, that's what damn sure is, so I wish him luck. And let's get this match underway and freaking Sephiroth immediately with a kick to the midsection of Venom. Whips him to the corner. And Sephiroth setting Venom on the top turnbuckle and setting him a tree of woe. And Venom somewhat manages to get out of it. Crossbody and Venom freaking missed the crossbody. Good job, freaking dumbass. Pfft. And Venom whipping Sephiroth in the ropes. Tail to roll backbreaker to Sephiroth. And good job, Lex. You're freaking breaking up your own tag team partner's moves. Wow, modern day Darth Maul over here. Fucking Lex Luthor. Freaking being a shitty tag team partner. And Sephiroth going for the one winged angel! Venom. Don't look up Sephiroth. One, not even one count. And Venom blocking kick there. Clothesline knocking him down. And Venom tags in Lex Luthor. DDT by Sephiroth and Luthor. And Sephiroth whipping Luthor into the corner. And sets him on the top turnbuckle. Oh god, uh, Sephiroth has Luthor by the throat. Chokes him from the top turnbuckle to Luthor by Sephiroth. And Luthor blocking the punch there. Headlock. Luthor the backbreaker to Sephiroth. And Luthor whipping Sephiroth in the corner. Misses the clothesline. Jumping clothesline by Sephiroth. Sephiroth is blocking the dropkick there by Se Luthor. And Sephiroth going for another one way dangerous Luthor. And Sephiroth. Jackson Lubbs, go for cover. One, two, and Venom picks up the pin. Or Lu can Luthor kicked out one or two. And Sephiroth is shot to the back of Luthor. Neck breaker by Sephiroth. And then Luthor with a punch of the face of Sephiroth there. Close on knocking him down. And another one. Power slam by S Luthor and Sephiroth. Oh god, now Luthor trying to go for the walls of freaking LexCorp. No way Sephiroth is tapping out to this. Come on, Sephiroth. Get out of it. And Sephiroth gets out of it, thankfully. And Luthor whipping Sephiroth in the corner. And Sephiroth putting Luthor in the corner. Kicks him in the midsection. And Sephiroth with an arm by it, and Luthor the mid near the midsection. Kicked the midsection as well. Code breaker by Luthor. Go for cover. One, two, and Lu Sephiroth kicks out. And Sephiroth going for a second. Well, he tried to go for another one winged angel, but Venom broke it up. And Luthor whooping Sephiroth in the corner. Kicks him off. DDT by Sephiroth. And Luthor, Sephiroth dragging Luthor from the ropes. Go for cover. One. Only one count. And Sephiroth going for another. One winged angel to Luthor. And Sephiroth going for cover again. One. Two. And Sephiroth gets the pin off the second one winged angel when Venom missed the elbow drop. Sephiroth sending a message to Doomface, like you're gonna send all your goons and as many as you want, but I think I'm still gonna beat them, no matter what. <laughs> freaking Sephiroth with momentum going in his match with Doomface and a message sent, like I said. And if you like this video, leave a like, comment, all this stuff. I'll see you in the next one, and I'll see you tomorrow night for Halloween Bash.